Okay, depending on when you're actually watching this, good morning, good afternoon or good evening. My name is Ian Middleton, I am a travel and landscape photographer and you can find out more about me on my website ianmiddletonphotography.com or check out my Facebook and Instagram profiles at Ian Middleton Photography. So this is one of my quick photography tips and today I'm going to talk about a relatively new but fantastic tool available by Adobe called the dehaze tool. Now just a quick overview why would you want to use a dehaze tool and why would you want to dehaze your photos? Well um, when we're photographing a scene uh, there can often be haze in the sky or across the scene for a number of reasons. It can be dust, it can be heat or it can be humidity like in this scene here. Uh, it's more prevalent when we shoot uh, with long telephoto lenses and we look far into the distance there's usually a lot of haze then. Now one filter you can use to dehaze your pictures is a circular polarizing filter which is a great tool uh, which I use all the time of course um, but we can also go one bit further we're in the post-processing stage. Now the dehaze tool is available in Adobe Camera Raw which is a plugin used in Adobe Photoshop or also Lightroom. Um, if you're working with a raw file then you can open your raw file straight into Adobe Camera Raw like I have here. If you're working with a JPEG then you can actually use the Adobe Camera Raw as a filter which uh, I can show you a little bit later actually. If you're a Lightroom user then you'll find the dehaze tool is also available in Lightroom. If we open Lightroom here if you see down here in the presence list you've got the dehaze tool here so it's available in both. But I like to work in Adobe Photoshop and I like to ad work in Adobe Camera Raw so this is where I'm going to show you what we do. Now Quite simply, yeah, we've got a scene here, two scenes here actually, photographed at Lake Bled. Now this was evening, sunset, and there was a lovely pink sky, lovely pink clouds. It was really, really beautiful. But of course it was after some rain and it's over the lake. So there's a lot of humidity in the air. And so it's a little bit hazy. Now, of course, one of the great things about digital cameras is they take everything in, sometimes too much. When I looked at this scene, uh, the clouds were much more defined. The, the, the pink soft colors were much more vivid and really, really nice. So I want to bring that out. I want to bring out what I saw. So I'm going to use the dehaze tool for this. Now, if we go down here, the dehaze tool is in our main menu down here of, of all our tools. If we use it here we affect the whole image. So as you can see if I move the slider to the right you can see that I'm affecting the whole image. Everything. The, the water, the church spire, everything. Okay so I don't want to push it. Look, it's bringing out my sky really really nice but it's, it's uh, not rendering the the rest of it too well. I don't like it. It's too much. With these tools it's often tempting to go too far and go oh wow wow look at that but it's unnatural you know it's not how it looked to me and it's not really what I want to reproduce. It's not faithful to the image that I had in my head. So what I'm going to do is just bring it along plus 20 just to bring the haze that foreground a bit which is quite nice. And I can do the same for this one here. I'm going to bring it up maybe 20%. Yeah. So maybe 25 even. Because that's a little bit more hazy, that scene. So that's brought this in nice. Yeah. It's brought my sky in nice. But still, the sky is not quite enough. So I'm going to go up here to my graduated filter tool. And I'm going to click on my graduated filter tool and when you do that you open another list of, of tools that you can use within the graduated filter tool and again we got the dehaze tool so I'm, going to, I'm just going to zero all of these for now I don't want to do anything else 
yeah and then so I've selected my graduated filter tool and I'm going to select the part where I want the gradient to start so if you're unfamiliar with the graduated filter tool what you do is hold down the shift key position your cursor and then click and drag down from the green to the red is the point of graduation what that means is anything above the green will be completely changed by your settings and anything between the green and the red will be changed on a gradual basis from completely changed to not changed at all and anything under the red will not be touched at all so uh, now I've set that now I'm going to go to my dehaze tool now you can see how I'm affecting just the sky above and the top but the water and everything underneath is not being affected at all so again we can go to we can go right the way across and go wow yeah look at that sky that was fantastic but again you know it's not what I want to do personally I just want to bring out the detail that I saw the, the vision that I had so I'm going to take that again to about 25 percent again here we can do the same thing take my graduated foot tool hold down my shift key select my graduation point and again I've applied another 25 percent to that area and not touched anything down below so now there we go I have a much better image if we look if we compare the original to the version we have now here and the same here yeah it's much much better so that's our dehaze tool it's a fantastic tool um, so now what I've selected is I can select these both and I can open both these images into face into uh, Photoshop and we can continue to do the rest of the work that I would want to do on the photos now again as I said you can do the same thing in uh, Lightroom you've got your dehaze button here and you've also got the graduated filter tool here in uh, Lightroom so you can do the same but I prefer as I said to work in Photoshop or work in Adobe Camera Raw okay so now these are opened there you go and I can continue to work away to finish off these pictures if I want now as I said if you aren't working with a raw file if you're working with a JPEG file which you really shouldn't you know uh, because the more you edit a JPEG file the more you destroy the quality but if that's the case if you do have a JPEG file uh, what you can do is open your JPEG file into Photoshop like this go up to filter and select camera raw filter and that will open your JPEG in Adobe Camera Raw and give you all the same options that I've just shown you okay so there you have it the dehaze tool it's a fantastic tool uh, so I hope you found this useful and check out my website as I say ianmiddletonphotography.com for more tutorials info about my photos and about my workshops catch you later